Hi, my name is Dylan Hauge. I'm the executive chef at Three Forks Restaurant here in Jacksonville, Florida, located in the Tapestry Park right on the south side. Uh, a little history of the, the restaurant. Uh, we serve exclusively only prime beef, uh, the best the money can buy, and only the freshest seafood that we can get. I've worked all up and down the East Coast and in the South and in Europe. A couple of the places that I probably learned the most were the Chancery in London, um, Commander's Palace in New Orleans, and the NoHo Star in Manhattan. Uh, five winners in Manhattan, and it was time to make a move, so we picked Jacksonville, Florida. I love food, I always have. Um, I mean, I can remember being in the kitchen with my grandmother as a child, cooking her fudge and her macaroni and cheese. And, and um, I guess as I got older, uh, it just made me kind of focus. It was either keep going down the path towards law school like dad wanted, or uh, do what I kind of wanted to do, which was cook. And um, so I just picked cooking and I've been working my tail off uh, for about 12 years. And uh, I've just always entered restaurants focused, uh, prepared to work, uh, and do just a little extra. First one in, last one to leave kind of thing. Um, and it's great that I have an opportunity to work at a place like Three Forks. So here at Three Forks, we open at five o'clock for dinner. Um, what you'll know is our, our menu is streamlined. It's very easy, uh, very simple. What we wanna do and what we emphasize is just the freshness of ingredients. Um, and that pretty much shows throughout our food. Our seafood is flown in daily. Uh, we get a lot of it from Mayport, which a lot of people know in Jacksonville. Um, you know, just a great restaurant. We like to wet age our meats. Um, there's a little less shrinkage than when you dry age, um, but keeps the, the meat very, very juicy. Uh, and I can't stress enough that if, if, if I could, I would probably pick a wet age over a dry age. As you can see, it, it's uh, stamped prime. Um, and what it does is just, it's just packed in its natural juices, uh, which will just keep the meat a lot juicier uh, after it's done broiling. Um, also the same thing with the tenderloin. We uh, wet age it, same, same reason. Uh, never more than about five weeks, um, ideally about 28 days. And it's just packed in its own juices. And again, it just when it comes off the broiler and it's out to the table, it's so juicy and moist. Um, and this is something you probably won't see a lot in Jacksonville, but you, you will at Three Forks. Uh, it's the bone in filet. Because of the bone, there's so much more flavor uh, in the tenderloin. As you know, tenderloin is a, is a mild flavored meat. Uh, so that bone really gives it an added punch of flavor. My personal favorite is the bone in ribeye, hands down. Um, it's just got so much flavor and it's so much marbling in the steak um, that when you slice through it, I mean, it's just like butter and it just melts in your mouth. It's, it's delicious.